Hello, I'm Dr. Stephanie Manka, formerly Dr. Shuttler. I'm a wildlife biologist. I was so lucky to be able to see my fifth coyote here in the Chicago area since I moved here a little bit over a year and a half ago. And seeing a coyote is such an incredible experience. It's coyote mating season right now. A lot of people are posting to Facebook and some of them are fear mongering, spreading misinformation, but overall perpetuate the sense of fear. And I wanted to take some time today to spread some coyote kindness and show you how amazing these animals are and that we can peacefully coexist alongside them. By far, most coyotes are calm, they keep to themselves, they are fine to be around. Kept my distance, but I was pretty close to them. I was with my dogs and nothing happened. So let's go over some realities about living alongside coyotes today. Let's start with the big one. Coyotes have attacked people and dogs and cats, yes, but this is still very rare. Only two people have died from a coyote attack. Now, most of us love dogs, like really love dogs. In fact, the dog industry is worth billions. People buy their dogs toys, sweaters, etc. If somebody's dog attacks another dog, you don't see everyone going, let's kill all the dogs, let's get rid of them. But for some reason, we have that same mentality when it comes to coyotes. And this doesn't work biologically to reduce the population. In fact, research shows the opposite, that population has grown. For more, see this video. According to the Centers for Disease Prevention and Control, 468 people died by dog bites. That's 43 deaths per year on average. And again, we don't have this kind of hysteria about dogs, but we do about coyotes. It's because dog bites don't make the news, and we have so many good interactions with dogs that we think of dog bites as being a problem animal. So let's think about coyotes being the same way. If there is an attack, there is likely something wrong with that animal. It's either probably been fed, which is why we should never feed wildlife. Maybe it's injured, maybe it's really desperate for a meal. This can happen in extreme cases when animals are starving, they will go after prey they normally don't go after, but coyotes want to go after wild prey. Studies show that even in really urban areas, like here in downtown Chicago, that coyotes eat mostly rabbits and rodents. Now let's talk about coyotes and dogs. Yes, coyotes will kill small dogs at times. They do not go into people's yards and lure them out. They're carnivores and sometimes if they can't get food, they will go after the animal that is most easily accessible to them. As dog owners, this means you have to be more cautious, especially in mating season, if you have a small dog. You're going to have to go outside with your dog to make sure that it is protected. I have larger dogs, and coyotes aren't that big either. Coyotes get up to about 45 pounds. My medium-sized dog is about 42 pounds. I have been walking with my dogs. My dogs have been in the backyard when they've seen coyotes. They're definitely not afraid. They bark at them, and the coyotes aren't afraid of them either. They're just doing their coyote thing. I walk my dogs every day, and since I've moved here, my dogs have probably been attacked approached aggressively by loose, unleashed dogs around the neighborhood, I would say at least five times, probably more. But again, I'm not on this rampage to, to get rid of dogs, I don't blame the dogs, and I'm not even on a rampage to get people to leash their dogs or put them behind a fence, although that's the thing you're supposed to do. I just accept it as a risk of walking my dogs. It's just what happens. All animals are ultimately unpredictable and dogs are domesticated and they're still unpredictable. I remember in Raleigh, I walked by this guy all the time with this supposedly well-trained dog and it would lunge and attack my dog. He insisted on having it off leash. So these kinds of things happen with dogs and dogs kill other dogs too. The other day on Facebook, I saw somebody talk about how they felt a lot of shame because they had to put their dog down. Their dog was really aggressive and killed two other dogs. Let's just take the attitude that we take towards dogs as a whole Let's apply that to coyotes. Let's see it as like, okay, that was an animal who was struggling. That was an animal that had a problem. 
And coyotes can get rabies, which can make them really aggressive. There was this video I saw of a coyote attacking a car. That's a rabid coyote. That is not normal coyote behavior. Coyotes will, yes, allow themselves to be seen in the daylight here in this area. They're pretty bold, but they're still doing wild animal things. They're ignoring people. They're keeping their distance. Every time I have seen a coyote, I have actually walked closer to try to take pictures of it to get a better view of it. And again, I'm a wildlife biologist. I'm good at reading animal behavior. It's kind of like seeing a squirrel or a deer. If an animal really wants to get mad, especially a larger animal like a deer it can attack you even though it's a herbivore it's about respecting the distance between the animal but I'm sharing this with you because I want you to realize that they're not scary animals in fact there was one in my yard yesterday and it was behind my fence and then it went down below the hill after I went back there to look for the coyote to see if I could get a better look I wasn't scared at all, and I wasn't running after this coyote, I wasn't chasing it, you don't wanna do anything like that. I just went to see if I could get a better look at it. The coyote did disappear, I looked at his tracks, and it was just such a cool experience to see that coyote to begin with. Now let's talk about cats. A lot of people hate on coyotes because they eat cats. Well, yeah, again, they're carnivores. This is what they do. It's unfair to hate an animal because it's biologically wired to be that way. My recommendation is to just keep your cats inside. I view anything that happens to cats outside as a risk. I don't let my cats go outside because I don't want them to be hit by a car. That's the main reason. If I let my cat outside and somebody hit it, would I have this huge campaign to eradicate cars? No. They can be killed by coyotes. And if they were, I wouldn't be mad at the coyote because that's what they do. If you're letting your cats outdoors, you're exposing them to a lot of risk. I saw this post on Facebook where somebody said that a coyote had a pile of cat collars, like 50 cat collars, for 50 cats wearing collars to be in a coyote's territory. It's a pretty high number of outdoor cats. This is extremely unlikely that this happened. There were no photos, so I'm sorry, but I don't believe this story. Things that happen to our pets outside that have to deal with wildlife are just part of coexisting with wildlife. When I lived in Raleigh, there were copperhead snakes, which are venomous, all around us. One day when I was walking my dog, I noticed she had her nose really close to a copperhead and I quickly pulled her away. But if that copperhead had bit her, I wouldn't have blamed the copperhead because that animal was just defending itself. It was ultimately my dog's fault. These animals are just living here. It's just a consequence of being around wildlife. Sometimes things like this happen and yes, it's sad, yes, it's unfortunate, it, but there's a lot of things that you can do to protect your animals. For cats, keep them inside. This is also the best thing for birds. Cats contribute to a lot of bird population declines because they kill them. Another important point about coyotes is that when you aggressively kill them, this actually has shown to increase their population size. Research shows that in areas where coyotes have been hunted, their population keeps growing and growing and growing. And I have a whole podcast going into this, but briefly, the older coyotes are able to maintain territories that keep the younger coyotes out. So if there's no older individuals, then these younger coyotes keep breeding and there's just a lot more of them. If you have chickens or small livestock, I have a whole podcast episode for you on how to protect those animals with a wildlife expert who does this as his job. If you do see a coyote and you feel like you are fearful, there are several things you can do. You wanna make yourself look really big. You wanna like put your arms up high and wave them. You wanna shout at the coyote, clap your hands. Just make yourself sound big and scary. If you have keys, maybe you wanna shake your keys. You can throw sticks towards them and rocks towards them. This should scare them off. You want to stand in your power and make them fearful of you. Overall, seeing coyotes is a joy. I have loved seeing them during the daylight. Once a coyote was going down my street, I was so surprised. I went outside and I followed it. Now, I kept a good distance. I took videos. Unfortunately, I took the video at the wrong time, so I messed it up. 
I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. But it was such an amazing sighting. So these coyotes, it's like seeing a squirrel or a deer. They're just doing their own thing. They're being wild animals. And as long as we keep a healthy distance from them and understand that they have instincts that they can't override, and this is just part of living alongside wildlife. I love the fact that we still have carnivores on the landscape. Losing a pet is always incredibly sad. I've had many pets over my life and I truly understand loss. Coyotes are animals too and it's really important that we learn to live alongside them so that we can enjoy them. Finally, if you are somebody who enjoys nature and you have kids or your kids love animals, big mission to me is to get kids outside experiencing nature, connecting to animals. And I have a program, Connection Through Curiosity, that teaches parents how to deepen their connection with their kids using nature. If you wanna be part of this free experience, please sign up at the link below. Thank you so much for watching and I encourage you to share this video to help spread kindness towards coyotes. They need it and they are such fascinating animals. They have adapted to live in the most urban environments. They are amazing. So let's spread some kindness for coyotes.